Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel and uh, today I want to share a quick tutorial on how to achieve an Adamski effect in Pixelmeter Pro. If you don't know what is the Josh Adamski effect, it's uh, an effect of the blur technique applied uh, to create an illusion of movement uh, combining with the still subject. So it's used by photographer Josh Adamski. I saw some very complicated uh, tutorials to do this, but uh, I came up with a simple solution. So first of all, you need to uh, duplicate this layer by pressing Command plus J. Now zoom in into your subject. So in this case, it would be this man. And uh, use any selection tool you prefer just to select his profile and his uh, shadow. Okay, once you select it, uh, just press Command plus J with the selection still on, and then you press Command plus D to remove the selection. Now choose the duplicated layer, go to Effects tab, press Add Effect and add the motion blur. Choose the angle of 90 degrees and put the radius all the way up to 100 pixels. So already you can see we achieved this effect. So you can modulate it and uh, apply motion blur once again to achieve even smoother effect. And in case you feel that's too much of motion blur, you can basically just reduce the radius of any layers you prefer. And we can see our subject is still sharp and uh, all buildings are blurred. Optional step would be to add a mask, choose a gradient tool, use black and white, and apply it from uh, bottom to the top. So what it does, it removes the blur from bottom of the image, uh, which gives us some more realistic approach. And even if you then not really happen, want to be even more accurate, you can uh, grab a brush tool, choose the black color, reduce the opacity, uh, give the softness 100% selection, and uh, just paint it whenever you like. So the last step is color grading, but it's uh, really up to you. This image is already color graded, so I will just apply any style. So there you go. This is our example of Adamski effect applied here. We can do another quick edit of another image. Okay, so duplicate the layer, select our subject, duplicate our selection by pressing Command plus J, and removing the selection by pressing Command plus D. Going back to our um, duplicated layer and applying motion blur. Finally, applying your preferred uh, color grading. So there is an image uh, and my last tip would be if you really want to achieve the smoothest look of that's possible, so you create a new layer, um, convert it to effects and again add a motion blur. So you can see with this we got even smoother effect. All you need to do is to move it uh, below your main subject uh, layer and just above the copied layer. So this is Adamski effect. All you need to do for landscape images is just to change angle and uh, make it not 90 degrees, but uh, usually zero works well. So this is it guys. Thanks for staying with me and hopefully to see you next time.